into the water right now. Guys, do you think he'll do it? <laughs> Does that count? Hey folks, David Fine here and the lovely Mrs. Fine. Hi. Watch your lip. Guys, we are um, at the Beachcomber Resort yes. in Pompano Beach. It's a baby, you like this place, don't you? I do. We've been coming here for several years and it's a favorite of mine. Yeah, so uh, guys, uh, this is a resort review. We know that when people come and they're going to stay at a resort or they're resort shopping, where should I go? Uh, they like to see what. It helps out. Yeah, it helps out to actually see what the place is like before I go come and drop some serious coin. And guys, this place is actually fairly reasonable. We're going to tell you all about it. We We're, couldn't drop serious coin. We can't <laughs> drop serious coin, yeah. So for those that can drop serious coin, God bless you. But that's not us. Uh, but this this place is actually very reasonable. And guys, look at this view. First and time we stayed in the ocean front yes, view. Yes, it's very nice. Yes. So, guys, don't forget to give us a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And uh, guys, let's check out the beach coma right now. All right, folks, so let's get into uh, this resort review. Like this high. You like that height, guys? I'm like <laughs> helping my wife out here because, you know, I, um, I'm not as vertically challenged. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But you, you are powerful. <laughs> That's not vertically challenged, by the way. Powerful. God wanted me to be this tall, That's so right. I love being this height. <laughs> what? You are beautiful. I don't know if that saved it or not, but did, did. not. So take it back. Take it back. Yes. This is the beachcomber. Uh, know what you want me to say? Yeah. So, so this is a this is a a resort that's very close to where we live. Babe, why don't you tell? Uh, our Watch Your Lip audience, why do we come to a place that's like just a couple miles from our house? Well, there's uh, different times throughout the year that you take uh, different trips and this one is one that we like to come, you know, um, once or twice uh, throughout the year because it's close to the house. Mm -hmm. It's 15 minutes away. So planning a trip like that is so much easier. Yes, from our house. We live in Coconut Creek and this is in Pompano. So um, it doesn't take much planning for me when it comes to reserving it and the time ahead in advance to get there. And uh, we can come here as soon as uh, you allow to register us free and start enjoying the place, which yeah. is beautiful. It is beautiful. So um, that's one of the things that I enjoy about it, that it's quick to um, decide, you know, we want to get away for one night or a couple of nights. And we know the place and we've liked it um, yeah. for several years now. And they have remodeled it. So yeah, they have. Just park. recent remodel. And guys, one of the cool things about staying here mm -hmm. is that it's really reasonable in the price, which we'll get to in a minute. But guys, why go far when we live in paradise? That's why people come down here to live in South Florida. People come from all over the world to stay in Fort Lauderdale Beach. Reasonable Except price. you have uh, more choices when it comes to takeout or yeah. going out to dinner. Because, uh, yeah, when you go away, like we love the Keys is one of our faves, but sometimes depending on the place where you stay, you have just limited choices yeah. when it comes to, and affordable choices mm -hmm. when it comes to feeding your family. And mm -hmm. I look at all those things when going away. So You're really enjoying resting on my shoulder, aren't you? I am. Yeah. All right, folks, so let's get to the price because that's one of the main things that people are looking for. Babe, talk to us about the price. What do you find? Um, 
It was under two hundred dollars, and um, the balcony. But this is the first time that we stayed uh, ocean view because I usually, once again, tend to go to that more affordable <laughs> price. Uh, they offer um, at eight a.m. breakfast, and you can sit. That's one breakfast of our favorites. I think yeah. that's one of our favorites to come down. Breakfast the kids awesome. love to enjoy the pool, so we have uh, breakfast as a family, a chance to to talk and to enjoy God's creation yep. as we're eating. And um, and drink coffee as the kids go swimming for a while. It gives us a, an opportunity to connect, just uh, my husband and I, as the kids are entertained, yeah. and uh, and then just spend most of the day either in the pool or in the ocean. You guys went snorkeling yeah. today. Yeah. So I, I like I like all the, the things that are around. It's actually close to a lot of things. Uh, Atlantic Boulevard is just like a mile, um, not even a mile north of us. Okay, we're right on A one A. And there's like a little shopping center right across the street with a quick mart. And so really close if you want to go out and get some food. Actually, I'm going to go off site tonight, go to our favorite restaurant for dinner, La Bamba's Mexican and Spanish food, best restaurant ever. Hands down. Hands down, best restaurant ever. A plug for La Bamba, shameless plug. Yes. Guys, if you're ever in Southeast Florida, check out La Bamba's. There's six locations. Six locations, amazing, yes. Palm amazing. Beach and Broward. So, yeah, guys, but I don't know if you can see, but like literally, no, you can't see, but literally about a mile that way is the um, Pompano Beach Fishing Pier that just opened. And if you want to go fishing, you can do that. Uh, and about another half mile, three quarters of a mile past that is the Hillsborough Inlet. And so we got Lighthouse Point right there. So that's a really good place. There's actually guys out here. I don't know. Let me see if I can zoom in. No, I can't zoom in. There's actually some guys out there on a paddleboard. They're paddleboard fishing for tarpon right there. Um, we actually brought our fishing stuff, but because of all the seaweed, uh, in fact, here's a little clip of why we can't fish. Check this out. Hey guys, we got all this sargasm seaweed. And that's what happens when you have an east wind for a couple days in a row. We got probably 10, 15 mile an hour east wind pushing right in our face here, guys. And uh, whenever that happens, seaweed jams up on the shore. They come and clean it up every single day. But, uh, you know, it just keeps rolling in. So not only can you come here to rent a place to stay for the night a room, yes. a room you can actually come to the restaurant which i actually want to show you a little bit of the clip of the restaurant actually guys check out this clip of the restaurant right here as we had breakfast overlooking the amazing atlantic ocean pompano beach check this out yeah. all right going out here you go sir going out to have some breakfast this is one of my favorite things about this resort guys is coming out here and having breakfast over here by this tiki hut. And there's the beautiful family. Hi. Breakfast time. Oh, yeah. What's going on, guys? So, do you know what you're eating yet? Yeah. The lumberjack breakfast. Lumberjack breakfast. What is that? Two, e oops. Two eggs, any style, short stack of pancakes with a crisp bacon. Wow. That sounds lovely. Yes. Awesome. Sylvie, do you like the view? I love it. It's yeah? Pretty nice. Beautiful, man. Do you like oranges? Oh, I do like oranges. Why, thank you, Sylvie. Check out this eggs benedict. Fruit cup. Whoa. Lorenzo, what do you like? Bacon? Eggs and pancakes. Pancakes? My love? Excited? Uh, yeah, omelets with spinach and tomato and potatoes on the side. Dang. Dang. Isn't that great, guys? What an amazing place to eat. Yes. Uh, baby, I love that breakfast. That's something that we've enjoyed several years in a row. Isn't that mm -hmm. nice? Mm -hmm. I had the um, Greek omelet with uh, spinach and tomatoes with fresh potatoes. Yep. Home potatoes, so... What, is that how you, home potatoes? Home fries? Home fries. Home fries. No, Homie fries. Potatoes. Potatoes. Pota papas. <laughs> they call them papas. <laughs> Love me some papa. Papitas. I'm, I'm a gringo, but I can, I'm trying to. Papitas. Home fries. Me encanta papitas. Home fries. Yeah. 
Yeah. Anyway, uh, love the restaurant, guys. We love eating there. It's right there. It's actually right there. Um, There's live music going yeah, on. Yeah, they right got now. live music. It's pretty cool. Yes, it, I love the service too. Um, every time we've come here, uh, we've never had a, an experience that yeah. was um, uh, a negative disappointing. Uh, yes, being in the hospitality industry, I enjoy when I go to a place and I see people smiling and just being uh, very polite. And I, I enjoy coming here because of that as well. Great yes. hospitality, poolside and at the restaurant we actually have had front office. concierge is very yes. hospitable i gotta say we've had some experiences down the keys that are not so great on the hospitality end <laughs> the hospitality <laughs> here is definitely definitely a lot better i give it an a so. yes yes mm -hmm. but not only the restaurant that people can come and eat mm -hmm. either breakfast lunch or dinner but they also if they want to have a day out on the on the ocean, they they have they offer uh, the uh, opportunity to rent yeah. one of their. They rent the little. What do, what do you call that? They're like little cubby holes that overlook the beach. I don't know what they're called, but they're, they're by the pool. Yeah, by the pool. It's like a little cave that's air conditioned. Did you take a clip? Of I did. I took some clips. In fact, I'm going to show you right now. Uh, in fact, they're about seventy five dollars a day, and you can come in and just rent one for the day, and you get an umbrella and some chairs. And all the chairs are in its air conditioned. Guys, there was a young lady, a customer of the Beachcomber, who was very satisfied. Let me show you what she had to say about these little cubbies that you can rent poolside. Right, so, Check what's it. your name? My name is Tanya. Tanya, nice to meet you, Tanya. Yeah, you. So now you, you're not staying here for the day, but what you're doing, you you guys rented one of these little yes. shaded. Can you tell me about that? It's a cabana. Yeah. Right out. About $75. Okay. The whole day, and you get a complimentary bottle of wine of your choice. Okay. And it is all day, 8 a.m. to dusk. Okay. And just enjoy life. So, you got some people here, you got to bring the kids, they hang out, they come and play in the pool. Play in the pool, and you get also. Actually, you get two umbrellas. You got an umbrella with two chairs. Perfect. Out on the beach. And just like me, you're local, right? You, like yes. you just live a little bit west of here. Yes. And w like, why go anywhere else? We live in paradise. We're in paradise. <laughs> uh, love it. Awesome. Lucky I don't have my drink right now. The <laughs> Well, Tanya, hey, bless you. Thank you, darling. Take care. Whenever we're talking about a beachfront place, guys, one of the most amazing amenities of this hotel is the incredible beautiful beach down here in southeast florida uh, you know if you go down that way it's pompano beach it's crazy there's tons and tons of people it's very expensive parking and not to knock pompano beach we love our city no. um if we go a little bit further that way we get to fort lauderdale beach and it's crazy and there's a lot of people not to knock fort lauderdale we love you fort lauderdale um but guys it's pretty cool to come in here and get a private stretch of beach all to yourself. Babe, what do you love about the beaches down here so much? Um, I love the fact that you can come in at any time, not either um, to as you rent a room, but if you just wanted to get out of the house, bring your umbrella and bring your um, beach chairs and bring uh, a cooler with a lunch and drinks. I bring a fishing pole. Uh, you know, water or juices, whatever it is that refreshes you when the sun is out. Yep. And uh, just spend time out in the ocean. And um, as we're seeing here, we had that opportunity to go and the kids love um, boogie boarding. Boogie board, snorkeling. Yeah. Even though there were lots of seaweeds, they still went in there. Yeah. And they just wrestled with the seaweed till they got to the yeah. part where they can use their boogie boards. In fact, guys, we actually, I took the kids snorkeling and I brought my GoPro. Uh, we'll show you a few clips of our little snorkeling, snorkeling adventure. It wasn't the prettiest thing. Uh, but check it out. Make it work. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, check this out. There is a frog fish. A frog? I see it. it's in that pool right there. Is it? Yes, I see it. 
Check him out. Ooh, what the heck is it? Are they look, poisonous? Look, 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 look. Are they poisonous? Can I touch it? <laughs> Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens with the water. He literally. Can I touch he it? He literally hangs on to the seaweed, guys. Check it out. Can I touch it? What do you think of the frogfish, guys? It looks like the seaweed. It looks like the seaweed. What what word do we learn in science that this learn about this guy? Camouflage. Whoa! He's so big. Is it him? Yeah. He's so big. He goes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I actually don't know. We came out, guys. We snorkeled. But unfortunately, we have all this seaweed, right? Uh, oh, shark! <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Sacrifice her! Sacrifice. I swear to God, I swear to There we go. All right, well. Replay with my scream. Like, yeah. <laughs> you, you could. We we couldn't see much because of the dark water, and we didn't bring a dive flag, so we can't go out past that no swim buoy. There's boats and stuff all over the place, so we're gonna be safe. Wait. It's a beautiful place, beautiful water, and if you actually go bring a dive flag. You can actually swim off the beach and in about 15 feet of water, there's nice, really nice ledges out there that you can snorkel to. We didn't bring our dive flag. Um, and so next time we'll bring a dive flag and actually get out there and enjoy. Mm. But don't go out there without a dive flag. Don't, you gotta stay within the buoys unless you have your dive flag because there's a lot of boat traffic, a lot of you know wave runners and sea dudes and stuff like that. But guys, we were gonna fish. I actually brought some crabs and we were gonna go do some permit fishing. I want to try and get my wife hooked up on a permit, but the seaweed is so bad. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, I know you're disappointed. Hey. See, here's the deal. <laughs> she talks like this about fishing, but when we went to the Keys and she hooked up on those lemon sharks, she I was, was ex excited. She was yeah. excited. She's like, oh, this yes. is great. You know. I I'm not excited about the seaweed. That's what it is. Yeah, right, you know? right, right, right. Uh, but guys, we're <laughs> beach fishermen. We're beach fishermen, and literally about a half a mile that way is our... Uh, famous place on Pompano Beach where we catch all of our permit. I, Eric, per, Dude Perdick and I want to rename it Permit Beach instead of Pompano Beach. But <laughs> but uh, but there are tons and tons of fish right here on the shoreline. And if you're a fisherman, you can literally just go right here in the evening or early morning before all the swimmers come out and throw out some lines and catch some fish. Uh, love the opportunities that we have here to fish right from the shoreline. Uh, and if you want some great how-to videos check out some of our permit fishing videos that we've posted to see how to catch these monsters right from the shoreline i do love fishing the fact that you love fishing makes me happy with my son and my child i enjoy, I enjoy. so when are we going fishing when there's no seaweed <laughs> you guys heard it Watch your live fans, you heard it. Mrs. Fine is gonna come fishing with us on the beach when there's no seaweed. This week, next day off, uh, we're going fishing. Right? So invite your wives or girlfriends that uh, do not like to fish and they'll fall in love with beach fishing because you can bring uh, a good book and your beach chair and uh, just have your feet tucked into the sand. It's actually really, really awesome. I enjoy the ocean. So mm -hmm. beach fishing in the ocean, it's one of my faves. Mm -hmm. I don't like the under the bridge fishing kind of bridge. Fish. She doesn't like bridge fishing. Imagine that. It's a uh, my beautiful stinky, wife. My but beautiful I wife. I will endure the smell for my love and my and my son. So I would I rather endure. not take you bridge fishing. <laughs> All right. So when you're not fishing, you gotta stay in the room. Uh, and at the pool. or at the pool, yeah, right. Uh, babe, why don't you tell us about a little bit about our room? I like the room. It's renovated. Mm -hmm. It's quite clean, and um, it's not as spacious as you would think. But the fact that it's ocean view, it's uh, pretty incredible, mm -hmm. and it's clean. That's all that matters. It's clean. It's clean. And that's what matters to me. Yeah. There's no smells. Every the bathroom area. There's actually a table in our room, a yeah. round table, and. 
the four the of us dining can room have, area. Yes, the four of us can eat dinner there, which is something extra. Usually in rooms like this, you don't have that ability. It's just the two beds and a desk. And that's it as far as seating area inside. So I'm pretty happy with this one, having a little round table so we can all sit down and enjoy our meal. Good. Yes. Guys, why don't we do this? Why don't we go on a little tour of our room right now? All Check right, it out. Guys, let's go on a tour of our room. So, nice rooms for the price. It's really, really good, guys. We've got a nice little area here with a microwave, coffee pot, my favorite. Uh, we have safe, we've got a little refrigerator, nice little dining area here. Uh, as we come in, we've got a nice closet changing area, dresser, ironing board, and we've got our bathroom. What you did? Yes. And um, I'm not gonna show you our clothes that are hanging up there, but you know, nice little bathroom, uh, nothing too, fancy but uh, it's it definitely does the job and I'm coming into a nice big room guys look at the view on this room yes that's the ocean that bright blue thing right there is the ocean but you can see our room is guys nice non-slip floor uh, nice twin beds two twin beds got a TV here guys look at the view come on man so good so good, nice little table here. Nice room, mirror. I'm gonna come out here into the patio. This is the ocean view uh, part of the room. Okay, got some nice chairs here. Lawn chairs, balcony, view of the ocean. Come on guys, look at this. It's really, really hard to beat. This type of view, guys. And we're only on the second floor here, but obviously as you go higher, uh, you can see more, but nice palm trees, beach sand. There's the, uh, the little dining area where we have breakfast. And that's where Noemi and I just love to go have breakfast there in the mornings when we stay here. You know, it was $180 for this room, guys, a night, uh, which is really, really doable uh, for what we're getting and where we are, beach access, uh, absolutely love it. So, uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much what we got here at the Beachcomber for our room. All right, Watch Your Live fans, we've spent enough time with you. I'm going to get back to pampering my wife. How about a massage? Does that sound good? Yes, after you feed me. After I feed you. So I'm going to go to La Bamba's. <laughs> get us. What are you going to have tonight, honey? What are you going to have tonight? I'm going to have a chicken loco with no cheese. Loco burro. Guacamole, loco burro. Loco yes, burro. So sorry. <laughs> loco burro. So it's a burrito. Amazing. Yes. Amazing With burritos. Yellow rice, and of course, we'll have some chips and the amazing salsa. Yes. My salsa. Hot salsa. Yummy's freshly made every day. Yep. And I'll definitely get a cafe con leche. Um, or or a pollo a la plancha, or I haven't really it's figured it out. Pollo a la plancha is, is, is grilled chicken. They marinate the chicken breast in this amazing citrus sauce. It comes with refried beans. I'm sorry, black beans and white rice and platanos and plantains. Yes. So amazing. I'm going to go feed my wife, give her a massage, and we're going to continue enjoying our resort, our time at Beachcomber Resort. And um, guys, give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Enjoy. enjoy if you come visit this place. Let us know if you do, actually. Yeah, let us know if you do. And let us know what your experience was. Hopefully it was as good as ours has been. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we've got plenty of resort reviews on this playlist. A lot of them are down the keys, but whenever we go and stay somewhere, we'll just do a little thing like this and put it up so that you guys can see what our experience was like. But uh, my lovely wife, thank you so much for doing this you video with me. Up. I always love it when you uh, when you do a video with me. Love that. Uh, yes. Love God. Love my wife. Love my kids. Love the ocean. Love fishing. Watch your lip. And stay safe, guys. Stay safe. If you're not going to stay home, come here. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> when you're ready to go on a little vacation, that is what happens. Right, Lorenzo? Yeah. Now, instead of going to our hotel nice and early, we're riding on a donut to go to the mechanics to make sure mom mom what do you feel about this <laughs> <laughs> well 
Uh, it's the way it goes. And now we are going to make it happen. Lorenzo, thank you for the drink. Let's close this up. Uh, all I want to do is go on vacation, guys. But now I'm bleeding from my head, bleeding from my knuckles, I'm full of grease, and I'm late to my vacation. Yeah, okay, very good. <laughs>